is the age of technology. Machines are the new tools of man, the tools that create our way of life in the 20th century. Tools that help us meet the demands of a changing world. Perhaps the most important of all man's new tools are the machines that produce food. For these machines have increased food production to meet the needs of a rapidly expanding population. Machines have produced changes in farms and in farming. Today's farmer must be a technical expert, an agricultural businessman. Like any other businessman, he must stay abreast of all new technical developments and put to use those machines that cut costs, increase productivity, and increase profits. Massey Ferguson has pioneered many new technical developments over the years to make farming more productive and more profitable. Self-propelled combines, no daily greasing balers, side delivery rates, and the famous Ferguson system for tractors. Now Massey Ferguson has developed a new tool for farmers, a technical development in farm machinery that will greatly increase farm output and profit. The first major breakthrough in tractor design in 30 years, engineered to meet the demands of today's bigger farms and bigger crop yields. For more profit and greater yield, Massey Ferguson announces a revolutionary new system of farming with pressure control. Today, you're visiting the Massey Ferguson Trading Center in Indianapolis, Indiana, where we have been driving pressure control tractors daily. Now, we found pressure control to be such a great stride forward in tractor design, with such unusual savings in cost and field time that we want to get the full details of this engineering breakthrough to you as quickly as possible. Pressure control works through this lever, which activates the tractor hydraulic system. It works like the Ferguson system, but actually it's a giant step forward. The original Ferguson system unites an implement with a tractor into one unit, with draft controlled automatically by the hydraulic system. When more traction was needed, the Ferguson system sensed it and automatically transferred weight from the implement to the rear wheels of the tractor. This was weight transfer traction, and since then, every tractor manufacturer has attempted to adapt this weight transfer principle pioneered by Harry Ferguson. Today, tractors are bigger, and so are implements. Farmers must till more acreage and do it faster for maximum yield with minimum cost. But bigger implements mean more weight to pull. And even the giant tractors of today cannot pull these implements without losing traction. For there are limits to the size of implements the Ferguson system with the three-point hitch can handle. Some farmers add weights to the rear wheels in an attempt to gain traction. Most fill the rear tractor tires with water and calcium chloride to add nearly a ton of weight. But the tractor must pull this added weight even when it isn't needed, which may be as much as eight hours out of every ten the tractor is used. Now, Massey Ferguson has developed pressure control, the first major advance in tractor hydraulics since the Ferguson system. Pressure control works through a unique hitch developed by Massey Ferguson to transfer weight from the front end of the tractor and from big pull-type implements at the flick of a lever to the tractor's rear wheels to give traction, weight transfer traction, with big pull-type implements. Pressure control works like the Ferguson system. In fact, it's an extension of the Ferguson system, giving weight transfer traction with big pull-type implements. There's no longer any need to carry wheel weight or water in the tire for traction. With pressure control, you merely select the amount of traction needed for the job and then only when you need it. And unlike power robbing weight, pressure control saves on fuel consumption, it saves tire wear, saves field time, reduces soil compaction, and all with a flick of the lever. For proof of pressure control's effectiveness in giving weight transfer traction, let's go to the Massey Ferguson training farm. A special implement to tractor hitch developed by Massey Ferguson provides the ideal connection needed to exert a weight transfer with massive pull type implements. A cone hitch on the implement fits into a swinging drawbar socket.
that is attached to the tractor lift cylinder. Now this hitch is free to move both horizontally and vertically, even on hilly ground. Now we'll drive this Massey Ferguson 1100 tractor and its 21 foot disc harrow under special electronic load cell weighing platforms that weigh the tractor and disc harrow at three points. The front tractor wheels, the rear tractor wheels, and the wheels supporting the pull type disc harrow. As we move the pressure control lever, the dial indicators will register the weight transfer from the tractor's front wheels and from the disc harrow to the drive wheels of the tractor. When in the field, you can operate without pressure control. You can apply pressure control to the exact amount needed to maintain traction. And you can apply full weight transfer traction instantly if wheels start to slip in a soft spot. Weight is borrowed from the tractor's front end and from a big pull-type implement and transferred to the tractor's drive wheels for more traction. Without pressure control, there is 4,200 pounds weight on the front tractor wheels. 6,000 pounds on the rear tractor wheels and 4,200 pounds on the implement wheels. Pressure control transfers proportionate weight from the front of the tractor and from the implement up to 1,300 pounds from each with this size disc harrow and adds this weight to the tractor drive wheels for more traction up to 2,600 pounds for more traction. Now that's more tractive weight than you get from six wheel weights more too than carrying water and calcium chloride in tires of this size. You don't carry any power robbing weight on an MF tractor equipped with pressure control. Yet, you get more tractive weight on the drive wheels when you need it. This new weight transfer traction with big pull type implements is certainly one of the greatest advances in farming in 30 years. It's superior to other methods of gaining traction such as wheel weights and loaded tires. And you can prove it in the field with this wheel revolution counter, just as we're going to do now at the training farm. This counter, when attached to a tractor wheel, will record the number of revolutions. With the counter in place, the tractor is driven a fixed distance, usually 40 rods or 660 feet, with the implement raised. Our counter shows 42 revolutions. The tractor is then driven the same distance with the disc penetrating the ground to maximum depth and pressure control used for traction when needed. This time, the wheel made 46 revolutions. With no load and 0% slippage, there were 42 wheel revolutions. With full implement penetration control for traction, there were 46 wheel revolutions for the same distance covered. Pressure control now holds wheel slippage down to only 9.5% when compared to the same tractor pulling a raised implement. We then drove the tractor and disc harrow over the same distance using six wheel weights and water-filled tires for traction. The number of wheel revolutions was 49 with 16.6% wheel slippage. So, pressure control was much more effective than wheel weights and water-filled tires combined. It reduced wheel slippage by 43% and increases field speed by 8.5% over other weight traction methods. Pressure control is the greatest single advance in tractor design in over 30 years, for it gives weight transfer traction with big pull-type implements. Pressure control also reduces rolling resistance on the tractor front end. You don't bulldoze through the field, and there is more horsepower available for use on the rear wheel. Pressure control operates through this unique hitch developed by Massey Ferguson, and it can be adapted to other implements now owned. Pressure control can save you money when you're planting, cultivating, baling, and harvesting, because you can turn it off. You see. You don't normally need added traction when you're doing these jobs, but if you're carrying around wheel weights and loaded tires, you'll pull around all that extra weight when you don't need it. A pressure control is simply turned off when you don't need the extra traction, and turn on when you do. And pressure control gives you these advantages with big pull-type implements to cut costs, 
increased productivity, and increased profits. Pressure control, now built into the MF-165, 175, 180, and 1100 tractors. The new pressure control system, an extension of the famous Ferguson system for traction that stops slippage, gets you through the field faster. Pressure control, weight transfer traction for big full-type implements. Exclusive with Massey Ferguson dealers for more profitable farming everywhere.